Hey everybody, it's Danielle Damiano with CMG Financial and I am here today to talk about the all-in-one loan with Dave Herbst, who is, well, Dave, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about what your position is with the company? Yeah, sure. Thanks for having me, Danielle. Um, so I manage our all-in-one loan program, of course. It's a, 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 a proprietary loan program that CMG Financial engineered. Uh, back in 2005, so it's not a new program. It certainly is somewhat new to to learn about. I don't think a lot of Americans really know that it exists. I think they really uh, need this product, of course, but they just don't know it exists yet. Uh, so I manage, you know, our our consumer education awareness effort, as well as as you know, our internal education effort. Uh, to make this product, you know, visible and uh, make sure that people understand how it works, so they can, you know, make a better mortgage decision for themselves. Yeah, I'm really excited to talk about the product because I honestly think it is one of the best products out there. Um, and back in 05, when it, I, I guess, originated here, right, it was also called the Home Ownership Accelerator Program. That's that correct. Right? Yeah, that's correct. Our, our original brand name for the product, um, the Home Ownership Accelerator. If you think about it, it's nine syllables long. It's a you know pretty lengthy name for a mortgage product in the industry. But you know it it of course uh, the structure is exactly the same. We we peeled off a second brand name for it right around 2010, the all-in-one loan because number one, it's easier to remember. It's more reflective of really what the what the mortgage product is, how it's structured, and where it comes from. Um, and coincidentally, we had actually licensed that previous brand name to one of our business partners, a large financial securities uh, firm, uh, a global firm, and uh, and they wanted to use that brand name, the Homeownership Accelerator, uh, as it related to their own clients and their and the service they they applied to their clients. So same product, but yes, a lot of people do still recall um, and know it as the Homeownership Accelerator. Great, great program. Yeah, definitely. So why don't you tell us a little bit about um, the program and how it differs from a traditional mortgage? It's very different. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things to cover, but I'll sort of summarize it this way. I think that the best place to, to begin is really what it's what it's used for. Um, what it's used for, what its intent is, is to uh, make it easier for customers to reduce the total cost of the mortgage, right? So when we think about mortgages, I think that by default, most of us just kind of gravitate uh, to, to interest rate and payment, right? That's kind of really the first things and sometimes only the last things we, we really think of when we think about borrowing money and getting a mortgage. You know, what's the interest rate? I guess what's my closing cost? And what's my payment going to look like? Um, I, I think that what's often missed is uh, analyzing how much you pay in total, right? There's the borrowed principal and then there's the interest expense that you have to pay over time. Um, and and the, the reality is, is that the longer uh, we stay in debt, any debt for that matter, mortgages, car loans, boat loans, doesn't matter. The longer we carry debt, the more expensive that debt becomes to us. Uh, so if, if people are interested in saving time and money, um, it, it should be a financial goal to shorten the life of that loan, shorten the life of their debt, right? Try to sunset it as quickly as possible. But mortgages make that very difficult because they're these are instruments that were developed during the Great Depression era. They're very rigid. You can only put money towards the mortgage. You can't take money out. It makes mm -hmm. it very uncomfortable, potentially even unsafe to actually try to pay it down faster because your money is locked up for, you know, permanently in the mortgage. Um, so the all-in-one loan solves all of that by keeping money liquid um, and helping people pay down faster, uh, comfortably without changing their budget. And again, the benefit there is to help them save money. Now that's that's money on their monthly payment. That's saving money annually. That's saving money in total. So it, it essentially reduces the total cost of the financing needed for real estate. The way that's accomplished, Danielle, is, is how it's structured. So it's uh, we we really engineered this after products that are available in other countries that are, that are really mainstream in other countries: Canada, New Zealand, Australia, uh, throughout Western Europe, uh, where it involves two accounts bundled together. One is the the home financing. And the home financing side of the all-in-one loan is powered by a first lien position, 30-year draw home equity line of credit. So it provides you access in and out of your mortgage uh, for 30 years freely, 24-7 uh, access. You can freely pay down your, your principal and take your money right back out that next moment or that next day or that next year over 30 years. Uh, and it's also... Uh, 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 linked with what's called a zero balance sweep checking account. 
Uh, so it's a personal checking account that comes with the mortgage and it's linked with it automatically. And this allows a customer to actually use their regular banking activity, their regular income uh, to drive down their mortgage balance faster. Uh, and and, the, and it, d- it does that without any budgetary change. So it's a it's a, a slight shift in the way we think, but it doesn't require you know, any change in your lifestyle uh, nor any change in your expense level. Uh, so it's very practical today, the combination of borrowing and banking in one consolidated place to make your money go further for you. Right. Yeah, no, and I, I think, first of all, it's phenomenal that you have a checking account combined with that first mortgage you lock. One of the best things that I love about the product is being able to, number one, pay down that mortgage so much faster without changing a single thing that you do in your daily spending, um, as well as always having access to that line of credit so that, you know, when you, if, once you do pay it down, you're able to tap back into it, whether you're looking to buy an investment property or, you know, put more money into retirement, pay for your kid's school, go on vacation, whatever it is, it allows you that flexibility to tap into that equity, where with a traditional mortgage, the only way you can get your your equity out is if you refinance. And we all know the cost that comes with refinancing. So definitely- Or or add a second lien right behind your first lien mortgage product, right? And and now you're, you're really kind of further at risk. Generally, second lien HELOCs are engineered to exactly like you you stated, uh, allow access into equity dollars. And the way that they're used is people generally end up with more debt than they started with. Meanwhile, their first lien mortgage, a traditional mortgage product that's amortized and closed ended, um, really impedes your progress with principal pay down, right? Most of the payment is structured to where you're paying interest primarily first, really for about the first half of the loan's term. In fact, in fact, you'll you'll pay about 50% of the total interest due in the first 10 years. So it's, a, it's you know, in my view, it's a colossal waste, certainly a consumption of, you know, valuable resources, your income that we all work hard for, you know, going towards interest cost. You know, as I, as I like to kind of coach people to think um, differently, you know, one of the things that, that, I, that I, you know, try to highlight is, <clears throat> you know, when you borrow money, especially on a mortgage, you're going to pay interest cost. And if you're, as an example, if you're borrowing $500,000 and, and the uh, amount of interest that's going to come with that loan is, let's just say, $350,000, right, over 30 years, uh, again, 50% of that cost is going to be paid for in the first 10 years alone. Um, but if that's the total price tag of your mortgage, um, that's a lot of money that you've got to earn and, and, and pay the lender, right? If you could cut the total interest down by 50%, maybe instead of spending 350 grand and maybe only spending $150,000 in interest, you know, how would that change your life? If right. you didn't have to pay that expense, you now have more of your own money left over for bigger and better financial needs. That's the beauty of this loan is it, it creates opportunity just by using it. <laughs>